Thank you, Chloe. Hello, everyone. Thanks for stopping by Spirit and Me 1111. It's your girl Stardust 1111 here to do your forecast tarot card reading along with some oracle for the sign of Scorpio for April 2020. Scorpio is a water sign, so this reading may also resonate with the Pisces or Cancer as well as water is your element. There will be an extended version of this tarot card reading available on my Vimeo channel for rent or purchase. So the link will be down below in the description box. I have your first card here, Spirit of the Animal Oracles. And um, tarot is timeless. These can be events that have already happened, that are currently taking place, or that will unfold for some of you guys here in the near future. And you're welcome to swap out the genders here, your kings to be queens, and vice versa. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload some content over here to my channel for you guys. Um, you have links here, Keeper of Secrets. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing very indicative to the Scorpio energy as well as if I may say so myself, very empathic, intuitive, right? Okay, trust your knowing. You see others' secrets and keep them sacred and silence and solitude, you will find your strength. I think that's a pretty good message to start out with here for you Scorpios. And I'm still going to go over and check um, for that deck. I have not yet, I have yet to find um, the winner for that or for you guys to contact me. However, I think two videos ago, I did post um, the winner for that deck and who that was. I'm waiting for via email confirmation of that so that I can get your deck off to you, okay? All right, guys, I'm gonna pull some house astrology cards here. Not an astrologer, I'm really, really green. Like getting my feet wet with astrology and numerology, but I'm really, really good with the tarot. So I'll go off my newbie knowledge right now, my beginner's knowledge of what I know about the planetary system and the cosmos, along with my oracle cards that I have here for further guidance for you guys and for me as well. What house activations, planets, or signs do we have for the Scorpio? We all embody every zodiac in our natal chart somewhere how strong it is and prevalent that energy is in our lives depends on the planets and what's going on at that current time as well. Go to Astrology Cafe to get your free natal chart workup so you can find out how to work with the phases of the moons and the cycles to manifest your best life, guys. All right, so enough of me talking. Let's get you guys a card here. What energy do we have manifest for the Scorpio for their April 2020 forecast reading? We have a planet card here, Jupiter. <laughs> Jupiter, that's Sag and Pisces energy, okay? Sagittarius and Pisces is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of luck, of expansion, growth, abundance, wealth, hard work, right? Your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck soar, fly, like the wings of an eagle, right? Literally, there's a person here soaring higher than the eagle here. It's like with Jupiter energy, that's like the Wheel of Fortune in Major Arcana 777, where luck and fortune are definitely on your side or here knocking at your door, Scorpio. Um, that's the energy that you have for you guys for your April reading. Let's get into some tarot. All right, Spirit, what messages do we have for the lovely Scorpios for April 2020? What messages can I get from the tarot for my lovely sign, Scorpio, for April 2020? And, um, well, <laughs> got two of wands, three of wands, my bad. This guy came out on his own. It's a jumper or a flipper, should I say. <laughs> All right. Two of wands, three of wands, energy. I oh, mean, why do I keep wanting this to be a two, obviously? Three of wands <laughs> here, guys. So this is like setting your intentions out into the universe, waiting, patiently waiting, but you're waiting for your shifts to come in. For me, the question is, are your shifts coming in or are you waiting for your shifts to come in? Scorpio, with Jupiter here, okay? Your energy being made manifest through Jupiter, that's luck on your side. Like you're waiting for something good to come in. From where I'm sitting right now, from what I see, let's get more claro tarot <laughs> here to clarify for you guys six of wands oh my goodness scorpio what's good <laughs> you got all these awesome cards okay so 
your inner knowing, your intuition, kicking off, like kicking ass in full gear, Jupiter energy here, waiting for your manifestations to come in. Your ships are coming in, Scorpio. I got to tell you, your ships are coming in. You're going to be very abundant. You're going to be victorious in what's coming your way. Reason to celebrate and accolades. Some of you guys just bought like a car or a house, leveled the hell up or got like the drop, job of your dreams or something here. Six of Wands energy. With the Three of Wands, they're both fire energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with one of those signs as well. And it's about being victorious, being in the spotlight, being on your high horses, because something in your life is going to elevate you and bring you up to a place of prosperity, abundance, accomplishments, and achievements, like high honors, you know, um, with Jupiter energy. It's really, really good. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I can't make this up. <laughs> your Ace of Pentacles is Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is a brand new start. Gifts from the universe. Abundance. All is well. When you have Jupiter energy with Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys are manifesting your own business. The star card. Aquarius energy. Your dreams coming true. The stars lining in your favor. Having hope. Right? Having hope. Be restored to something in your life that you've been long waiting for. This has been something that's been long waiting from you and your time to celebrate is coming with your new start in business. This Ace of Pentacles is like a gift from the universe, like your abundance opening up things that may have been blocked from you energetically that you weren't able to get into to get in vibrations or frequency with to attract to yourself is now coming to you. It's coming. From your star energy, I'm seeing that you have divine guidance from the stars from your planetary system manifesting a Jupiter energy here. Your stars are just aligning, you know? The Hierophant is about commitments, it's about traditions and beliefs here. This can also be something or someone in your experience coming your way to offer you something solid, something tangible, um, beliefs. It could be a marriage. This is Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with a Taurus that you're going towards or you're coming out of a relationship or with a Taurus. Um, Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius here. I see that your Hierophant is going right towards the Three of Swords energy. So like you're embracing things that have been difficult for you, you know, like triumph over adversity, standing in your strength and power, staying true to yourself, your beliefs, and your beliefs systems. Some of you are just in a place that you're searching for new connections, new soul connections, um, giving yourself what you need through clarity of mind, peace of mind, of your inner being, of who you really are here when you have the links energy. Like it says, trust your knowing. Um, you see other secrets and keep them sacred. You're very sacred and divine. And you have divine intervention here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Star and the Hierophant. They're all being back to back. They all follow each other. It's like your good luck, fortune, and abundance is there and awaits you. You're going to be victorious from where you're coming from. You're coming from a place of pride and dignity already because that's what you used to. It's something about you that you just have pride about yourself. Um, and you wait patiently for the things that you know you should be made manifest into your life because the intention you set out, the work you've done, setting your purpose and your goals, your dreams and aspirations, um, being willing and ready to show up and work for them moving forward. You'll be blessed because staying true to yourself. The hierophant is very true to your heart, to your divine, to your nature, to what you know that resonates with your soul, your inner being, your higher self, your soul. Okay. Kipper is not appropriate for this. I'm going to get you guys some psychic tarot oracle cards here. Jupiter energy. I like that. <laughs> you guys started off like all to the good. What is this? I'm going to clarify the three of swords for you guys over on Vimeo and find out what's this heartbreak here with the hero fan because it's looking to me that traditions for somewhere could have been broken. Someone maybe even stepped outside of a marriage or a very committed relationship. And that energy is just here. It could be that you've been waiting for things to be revealed to you and through signs of synchronicities in the universe. Um, that heartache could have just been setting you up for all the greatness that you are coming into. Maybe it was a blockage to you because you couldn't see yourself or way out of that situation, keeping yourself somewhere that wasn't for you. That was toxic. What? We're going to find out. I don't make stories up. I'm just throwing out some scenarios, what it could be, what I feel is resonating with me. Psychic Tarot, what do we have for the Scorpio for their April 2020 reading? This guy. 
triumph. <laughs> I just said it, triumph over adversity. Spirit, spirit, spirit. And uh, yeah, we're going into the book. That's number seven. Told you guys. Mm -mm. Spirit, do not be playing. About your messages. Triumph, okay? Triumph over adversity. That's your six of wands here. There you go. Can't make that up, guys. You are winning. You are coming out strong because of what you've been through, because you persevered. You're coming into your greatness. Your Jupiter energy is here, being made manifest through your Ace of Pentacles, through your hard work. And it all has something to do with things that you've hoped for, wished, and desired in the past, and is coming to you divinely. The power of your soul is pushing and nudging you steadily forward. Whether you're setting new goals, developing ideas, or planning a journey, it's essential that it's carefully thought out. When you tap into your inner guidance and balance it with self-control, hard work, and perseverance, it's likely to manifest a triumphant outcome. It's time for you to be single-minded and focused on the end goal. Visualize the success results, the successful results as if it were happening right now. When you've achieved what you've set out to do, your ability to meet other life challenges will be significantly increased. Scorpio, very indicative to your energy. You're at number 13, the major arcana. That is the death card. That's about transformation and rebirth. It kind of has a lot to do with like triumph over adversity, your six of wands energy, and your triumph oracle card here. Let's continue. When you try to move forward without balance, direction, or guidance, it's easy to slip off your intended path and be drawn away from your desired goal. Now is not the time to let go or allow the river or life to pull you in its current. As you can so easily lose control, grab your oars, grip them tightly, and steer carefully toward your highest aim or destination. The triumph card reminds you that you don't have to be alone with all of life's ups and downs and the challenges that you face. This is a time to tap into the powerful knowledge of others as well as to use the inner resources that are within you. Like the chariot, move forward. Just go forward. Triumph over adversity. Very beautiful oracle card here from the Divine Spirit. Thank you guys so much for that. Okay, now I'm going to get going over here to Vimeo and we're going to explore for you guys. Um, I have some Kipper tarot as well. I'll pull one or two of those. We're going to explore over on the Vimeo extended version of this. Um, the outcome of your cards of the balance, shall I say. Um, we're going to do what to do, what to ponder on, what's at hand, and um, past influences for this connection for your situation. Find out. I'm going to specifically ask about those three of swords. So, Spirit, do you have any messages for the lovely, lovely Scorpios? Poverty. Some of you guys are coming from a place of poverty. You feel lack, working really, really hard, and you feel like you can't earn enough to get ahead. So you feel like you have that lack type of vibration here. Expectation. What are you expecting out of your person? What are you expecting out of your connection? Well, I can tell you that from looking at these cards and the way the woman is looking here at the poverty card, she is expecting things to get better. She's expecting all those days of busting her bone, the nine to five rat race to soon come to an end. So she's thinking her next best move. Triumphed over adversity. Deep in thoughts with expectations of what's out there, what's coming back in for you, what you can do to bring more greatness in your way through the star energy, Jupiter, six of wands and ace of pentacles. This world is an oyster. An oyster. Gobble it up. Gobble it up, Scorpio. Thank you all so much for joining. I have to get up and manually <laughs> stop the camera because my clicker is not working today. It doesn't like me so much. So thank you all so much. Namaste.